Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Banished, and today we are going to continue on with our expansion of our houses down here, as well as hopefully increasing the number of merchants we got coming in and out, so that our food stores do not drop below dangerous levels. We do not want the food stores dropping, it is very crucial at this point that the food does not drop. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to go to the food limits and I'm going to change that. We're at 60,000 at the moment. I'm going to put that all the way up to 100,000 like that. And I'm uh, actually thinking that I should increase some of the others as well. I mean, we've got 10,000 limit on fuel. I'm going to increase that one there up to... A limit of 20,000 and then I'm gonna increase the logs actually the rest of it would probably be all right at the moment textiles um, yeah textiles can increase because we've got so many different items and um, creatures and everything sort of running around now and I'll increase tools up to a thousand um, alcohol can go to a thousand and clothes can also go up to 1,000 herbs over there they can go up to 2,000 and then coal can stay at one. Yeah, we'll keep coal at 1,000. Um, iron to logs over here, though. Logs need to increase, I think. We'll go logs up to 10,000. Like that, because fuel is 20,000. There is a whole load of vastly increased statistics. Uh, well, uh, uh, items that can come in and out. Um, so we'll bump this back up to 10 times speed. And we'll let it carry on. We've got some woodcutters being built over here. They are on their way up through, and if we take a look at our current labor, we got 56 laborers. I got six builders. I'm going to increase the number of builders now up to 10. Uh, I'm going to have lots of builders going all over the place because I've got all of these houses being built over here. Now, that one there, that one's actually done. That is in a process of being demolished, so we don't need to worry about that one at the moment. Once that one is out of the way, uh, what is it? It's these. I want to be increasing the number of um, other areas that I've got demolished. Now, that one there is going to have to go forward by one spot. So if I sort of do it there, I think there is about the right spot there. We'll put one down there, and then I can't put another one next to it, and I can't put one up there either. So we're going to have to wait for that one quarry to be built. Then I can put another one over here, and then I can sort of angle round and... Um, I can keep sort of messing around with it over there. I'm going to put one down here as far back as I can, which at the moment is only going to be to that point there, unless I go over. We'll drop it right there, I think. So that is another quarry that we built in there, and that will clear a little bit more of the mountain away. I want to keep clearing the mountain away as rapidly as I possibly can until I have cleared all of it. I don't want any mountain left. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm building this area here, which is going to be all houses. I'm going to have loads and loads of houses coming out of here. So we'll build one road up through there, so that is ready to start building some houses. Now, there's not going to be any road sort of connecting these bits. I'm going to have four lines coming out of here, which are going to be lines of houses which won't have sort of paths crossing over them. And then I'm going to, I'm going to sort of um, divide it up into quarters. And... Um, there's no particular reason for doing this. I don't have, like, anything in mind um, in particular for doing it. It's just I thought it would be actually pretty cool to, like, have the whole city done out in quarters. Um, just because. It's, it's literally a just because. That's kind of what I felt like doing. So I'm going to start running more houses out through here like this. All the way out. As far as we can. Well, not actually as far as we can. I want to make it so that they're within range of here. I can do one more, I think, and then that will still be within range and it'll be okay. So I can go one out there. I think one more than that is going to be too far. Yeah, so we'll keep it like it is right there. And then I'll do another line of houses. We'll go this way. And those will go all the way out as well, as far out as the previous lot. As far as we can get them, which are there. So there's the other edge of them. And then I can go back through and I can take some roads. And we'll run a road up to that point as well. And I'll also put a road across the top. I uh, don't know if I've actually done that on this one. I think I have. If I haven't, I'm going to do it now. Actually, I can't do that on this one. This one here, it doesn't actually let me because there's uh, the, the bridge there. So what I will do is... Let me just get rid of that one. If I do it this way, I can do it as far as 
there like that so that I've sort of got it one point over um, and I've got the bridge there that will come round. I'm actually thinking if I could try and put a bridge across here somewhere. I don't think I can from that point though. I think that this point here is not a good point to start a bridge. It's not going to be able to go all the way across. And also because there's stuff in the way of the bridge. So, yeah, that's that's not going to work out very well. I mean, I could, I suppose, put a bridge right there so that it goes across. So it's a little bit closer than that one up there. Which, I mean, it'll work out all right, I suppose. We'll do that. We'll drop one of those down there like that. We've got an extra bridge there. We've got the main bridge here coming across the river. There's a piece there that hasn't actually had the stone put in. Uh, what is low? Logs is low. Yeah, log. So it's saying that logs are low all the way across. Now, I've got these uh, auto-purchasing. I've got auto-purchase 1,000 logs. I think we ought to increase that to 2,000 logs. And I will do this all the way through. We'll go to purchase and we will change this to 2,000 logs for auto-purchase. Just to try and keep those numbers up. And we will eventually have to change, um, add in some more of these. But at the moment, we don't need to. At the moment, we're doing all right. So logs on that one as well can change. So if I delete and add in another, uh, change that to a two. We'll do that one over here. Um, there like that. And then one more. Purchase 1,000 logs. Oops. Went the wrong way there. There we go. So and two thousand on there. Right. So now I've got two thousand logs being purchased from every single one of them, uh, up to the limit on logs. So it'll take it to the limit on logs, but it won't go any further than that. Now, if we come back down here, this one here is turfing out loads of stone because that built faster than I thought it would. So we need to now demolish that one, and we want to demolish the other one as well. So we go to there and demolish structures, remove you, and remove you as well. Now, if I look there, that one's got stored stone on it, and this one has stored stone on it as well. Um, so it'll take the, the people who've got to come along, they've got to remove that before they can do anything else. Um, that one can go up there. That's the limit of it there. I'm going to go up there like that, and I'll put the quarry down there. So I've got a new quarry being built there. Now, what do we got? We've got a miner was crushed by a rock. We've got miner was killed by a cave-in. Uh, more merchants are arriving. We don't need to worry about the merchants. And these houses, people are moving into these houses very, very rapidly, which means that we've got, the population is increasing rapidly as well. Um, stored firewood is very, very low. Even though I've got all of these woodcutters working over here, they're working frantically, we've got, the firewood is extremely low. I need firewood to be increased. I really, really do. And then we've got coal. We've hardly got anything. Tools are lowering as well. And so is alcohol and other things so everything is currently dropping i now need to go through the only thing the only issue that we've really got is that i can't uh, copy and paste the auto purchase onto the other ones um so i'd like to start purchasing some some tools or i'd like to start making more tools i'd like to buy in coal Actually, i don't need to buy in coal i can i can get my miners to do the coal look we got over here we've got iron being produced in that one and then Iron being produced in that one, and coal being produced in that one. So we've got coal in one. There's 13 people in there, and 15, and that one says 15. So I'm actually going to increase that to 15. And then I'm going to increase this all the way up to 45, so both of them take um, 15. So we've got loads of iron being produced now. 15 and 15. And I've got loads of um, coal being produced as well. And then if I look into the workers, we've still got 24 laborers. That's not really a huge number of laborers, so I don't think we want any more laborers than that. I'm actually thinking that it might be better if we reduce this down by 15. We're not that down there like that. So that we've just got 30 people working. And then I'll reduce the number of workers in there by uh, down to 10. And I'll reduce... Actually, no, we'll go down a bit further. we go to 8 workers in there. And then I'll reduce the workers in here down to 7. And that should leave 15 over there as well. So we've got equal. It's just that we've got two iron mines. I think that will work out all right. Because we've got plenty of iron. It's coal that we are short of. So we need to make sure that we've got plenty of stored coal. Um, maybe actually I should switch one of these over to coal as well. We'll see. We'll, we'll come back to that. I want to be able to have plenty of workers. Now the problem that I've got with this guy is he doesn't have... Actually that is the issue isn't it? It's, it's we don't have coal coming in. We need coal coming in in order to be able to make this really work properly. 
And in order to do that, right, what have I got going on over here? I've got a... I've got one of those being built over there, a quarry being built. I'm going to build another quarry over here so that I've got some more flat land. I'm going to rotate that one around there. And we'll put that one back as far as it can go, which is there. Apparently not. There. So we drop one of those in there. That one can be built. And I've got a little bit of coal coming through, but I've also, I don't have enough fuel. I don't have logs and I don't have fuel. So I need more of each. I definitely need more of each of them. And we look up here. So I've got nothing is cutting this area down here. So I'm going to build some more traders. I've never done this before. I've never gone all out and tried to flood the area with... Um, lots of different tools and well with houses like far more houses than I can actually support by bringing in trade so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the steel tools over to iron tools for now because the coal is the coal situation is a bit drastic um that one over there he can go we we'll change that one over as well we we'll change that to iron tools as well and I'm going to build another blacksmith and I'm going to build that one closer to here I'm going to put that the new blacksmith over there um, and that one should then be able to get the coal that he needs, because he's going to because he's going to be right close by there. He should be able to get what he needs to be able to complete his work. The only other one that we've got this, I mean, the coats at the moment, the coats are fine. We don't have any issues with that. Um, alcohol is there is a bit of an issue with alcohol, but at the moment it's not too bad. That one's empty. Right, I can't actually remember where I was now. I think I'm just getting rid of this one. Int uh, real life just interrupted very rudely. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on. I will, I will try to carry on as though nothing has happened. And you won't even notice the smooth, seamless switch between um, different cuts. You won't notice it at all, honest. <laughs> okay, maybe. M maybe you will a little bit. Right, we're going to change this one over and we're going to have steel tools on that one. So we've got three blacksmiths working away feverishly producing goods for us. We have got loads and loads of stone over here. i got more stone over that side as well. Now, the stone, we've sort of reached the limit of the stone, so we don't need to worry about that too much. I am going to build another quarry just down in front of there, so that one is gets done. This one over here, we can get rid of that one now. That one's another one that's got to go, like that, as he's now fully operational, as is that one there as well. But that one's already been gotten rid of. Now, the houses are expanding rapidly, rapidly, rapidly. So we need um, we need logs to come in. That's what we need. We need lots and lots of logs. But the traders don't seem to be bringing us any logs. I very much would like logs to be brought in. Now, that one's got fruits there as maximum. 2,000 logs on there. They just don't seem to be coming in at the moment. So we're going to have to sort of watch that. We may have to help boost it along a little bit. I was actually wanting to build some extra traders, so we're going to do that a minute first. I'm going to take a road here, and I've got a road up to that point there. I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to run that just along to that point there for a moment, and then we can start building another trader. Uh, that's going to have to be... Right, oh. Um... We're out of... It's the quarry. It's the quarry people that don't have somewhere to work. So if I go over here to that one, I can build another quarry there. And this quarry can go... There is where it's going to have to go. That's right up against it there on that side. Right there. So there's our new quarry going in there. I'll build a road right in front of it, which is going to be that point there. And like that... So we've got the road going there. I'm also going to bring a road around that side like that. And then I'll bring it along the front. Um, it's going to have to go there, I think. And then we go out. No, I don't want to go out one. I want to go to there. So that it will go straight up that point and then it will run up there. So we've got kind of a square going around and then I've got the new quarry there being built. And hopefully everything on that will be just fine. So I've got... This area down through here, that's all fine over there. I want to get rid of this mountain still. So we're going to do that bit next. We're going to build yet more quarries down here. And I'll build them down as far as I can along here. I don't know how... Oh, there. There's where it's got to go. So I'll do one there and then I'll do one next to it. Like that. Another one next to it again. 
But I can't actually do that because it's, it's too far over that way. So we've just got two going there. And then if I rotate it round, I can build another one out this side. Uh, we want to get as close to that river as possible, but we obviously we can't go too close. So I reckon if we go there, that might be sufficient for the next quarry. So I put one in there like that. Now I've got these this road out here. I, the next one that I want to do actually is I'm going to come out here. That's going to come out that far. So we don't need to worry about this piece over here. I want to do a road straight out of this area. There, it's going to come straight out that point, and it's going to come out to about there-ish. So then we've got to... I still need to build the traders up. Um, logs, we're still... We still don't have logs, and these guys don't have any fuel either. So we're really sort of pushing it now with the limits of what we can do. We need firewood. We need lots and lots of firewood. I mean, these are all working frantically. But I don't think, I mean, he's got, has he got logs? He's got logs in there. So these have all got logs and they are working. But we need more. We definitely need more. So I'm going to have to change that. Uh, I think maybe the next thing that we do is we build more woodcutters. And I build lots of them. So if we can do that, that's going to sort of at least be a start for us for making sure that we've got everything that we need. So I'll put one there. And in... And in there, and one there as well. We don't have a gap there, but I can bring it round and I can put them here. I can run them up there on the side like that. Uh, can't do one more up there. There's not enough room. And then I can bring this one over and I can put them up through here as well. So there's another... Uh, that's ten altogether. I've got another ten woodcutters going in there. I'll build a road. Stone road, obviously. It's what we do now. It's all about stone roads now. And I'll build that stone road there. And then I'm gonna just I'm gonna build another road out this side, just in case it's gonna be useful to have a connection between the two over that way. And this will run down through here. So we, we kind of got connections running here and there, um, which it, it will help. And then this area here, we're going to chop some of this out as well. Now, I've got a whole load of people working in quarries here. So those quarries are actually fully operational. And we are, we're, we're still low on logs. Logs is going to be a major, major problem. So if I've got 10 extra woodcutters, I will just increase this by 10. So we want to go up to 27 woodcutters. So we've got enough there to populate all of them. And... Right, that's my houses that I'll be building out there. That one's now done, so that one can be destroyed. Remove you, and we'll remove those two as well. So we got even we got even more space opening up here. We got loads and loads of space opening up with the quarries. Uh, with the number of builders that we got, it's really re it's helping us an awful lot to get everything built really really fast. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go for some more trading posts. Yeah, the road needs to go up there like that. So I can put a line of these, I think. If I go back one, I can put one there. I think I can actually just put them in a straight line next to each other. This one here is going to have to come out a little bit. So I'm going to do four more trading posts. I cannot put one there. It's just a little bit too close. Uh, but I can go over just a tiny bit and I can squeeze in. Oh, no. That's not going to work either. It doesn't work. It doesn't like that area. There's there's one area here that it doesn't like. We're going to have to go over a bit further. There we go. That's that's where it will work. Okay, and I will build a road next to it. We'll come out onto there. Put the road across like that. Um, oh, this one's all the way up here. So I want to come into it like that. And then I want to run the road across there. And then run it up like that. So that will go between the two. And then I want to put a road up there. Like that. And that's also going to be st the stone road going everywhere. I'm, I'm basically I'm putting in as many stone roads as I can. It's just to increase the speed that they can get around the map. Um, and get to all the different important resources that they might need to get to at various points. Um... That's already going all the way through. So we've got four of them there. We'll have to set them for being able to purchase everything that we want them to buy. This is all being destroyed down here. Uh, one of them is already destroyed. That's already been ripped apart. And I've got that blacksmith. He's waiting on coal. He's right next to the coal mine there. 
but he can't actually get to the coal, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think I may actually... Yeah, see, that that's trees, but it's not really doing a great deal with those trees at the moment. There's room for improvement on that, I think. I might build another... I mean, I've got some coal there, which should be close enough for the blacksmith to go and get. Nobody else is using coal. I mean, the, the houses are actually burning a little bit of the coal, but still, we don't really need to worry about it all that much. Now, I've got three traders in each of these areas. If I look at my inventory on here, do I want to keep three traders on each? I mean, I do want to make sure they stock firewood, so I want them to stock 5,000 firewood each, which is kind of... This is... The 5,000 firewood is causing us a little bit of a problem. They don't have enough materials coming in. We can help them out a little bit every now and then. I can go harvest trees like that. And I can chop down all the trees that are close by, which is going to give them a little bit of extra. Uh, but we don't have vast quantities. So we do have to be very, very careful now, especially with the food. The food looks like it's starting to die down a bit. Um, I mean, we're in winter. Technically, we should be... We, the food should be good to go for a little while. Logs are the issue here. We're, we're running low on logs. That one's being built. That one's fine. Um... Just wondering if I should try and do another increase somewhere. I mean, actually, I think we're all right at the moment. We are, we are all right at the moment. We've got loads and loads of people. It is difficult to do this. It's difficult to achieve the balance. I've got one laborer across this entire thing. I've got one single laborer, and that's actually really, really bad. However, I do have 56 people in school, and I've got 79 children. So, with all of those people around, it the labourers will start to build up again. We will start to get more labourers coming back. Let's just keep a close eye on that for a minute. Labourers are now zero. We're now starting to actually lose people, which means that we're going to be losing some of our farmers. So, farmers, we're down two. Herdsmen are down one. Vendors, they're down. Um, everything is... We're going to... This is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. We're going to have to watch very, very carefully. I think what we'll do in order to achieve a bit of a balance here, we're going to reduce the number of um, quarry workers down to... Let's go down to 40. That should be 10 in each. If I reduce that to 40, that should be 10 quarry workers in each of the four quarries that we actually maintain. We've got one over there and we got one down here. 10 in each. That gives us some laborers, which means that I can then go back up to 32 farmers, which I actually need, and all of the herdsmen that I need. Uh, foresters with 16 of 7. I don't know why we've got 17 foresters. That doesn't seem like the right number. Oh, yes, because one of the areas I got four. Uh, stone cutters, yes, I want 40. Miners, they can actually stay slightly reduced. Traders, now the traders, this is. Um, I've got three of each, haven't I? Oh, of course. I've got up here, I actually need. I reduce that down to three, and then I will increase that by three there. So we've got 21 of 21 traders. This one here is almost finished, so I'll do the same on this one. That can reduce down to three, and we go up to 24 traders. That leaves us with five laborers at the moment. I've got nine builders. I'm going to reduce that down to six at the moment. So we're six of eight builders. Um, oh, can we only have eight builders total? Maybe we can. And, I mean, that's actually good. I mean, we got the laborers are going to sort of start increasing now. We've got all of these children going through school. We've got loads and loads of children and loads of people coming through school. So, it is going to eventually catch up with us. Now, I've got in here these purchase orders. I've got 2,000 logs and I've got uh, 3,000 of each of the food. So, I'm going to do the same on here. I'm going to make sure that we've got 5,000 firewood in store. And then we go to the purchases, and logs are going to be... I'm going to go just 3,000 of everything. Um, it's going to make it a little bit easier, I think. So I just literally do that, and scroll down like that. And then the vegetables as well. Herbs is different. So we've got 3,000 of each of the foods, and then I'll do the same over here. we go firewood is 5,000. And then we can start setting up the purchases. We'll do 3,000 of everything down through. I mean, if I was... I don't know if there is actually a way to... You know, I haven't actually set that to when merchant arrives. That's what we want. And then this one here, when merchant arrives. We've got to make sure we set that bit as well. So we go 3,000 grains. We've got another one over there I've got to set up in just a second. Uh, let me just quickly set that. And 
you as well. And inventory, we got 5,000 on there. That one is, the inventory is 5,000. Excellent. So now I'll go over here. So I've got 240, 65. The students don't seem to be going through very quickly. I've still only got eight laborers here. All of the jobs are filled. Are traders, yeah, 24 of 30, because I need to reduce that down. One, two, three. And then that needs to increase to 27. So we've got traders now are 27 of 27. Vendors, 17. So I need one more vendor, but I'm not going to actually worry about that one. That one over there, I'm going to pause the construction of that one just for a minute so that we don't um, run out of laborers. The laborer count is too low at the moment. I'm keeping three traders on each one for a very specific reason in that um, if you've only got one, they can take quite a long time to deal with anything, whereas three, they're able to travel around, they're able to grab stuff, what they need, and they're able to do so fairly quickly and easily. So let me bring that down through there like that, and we go to vegetables as well. That is everything on there, and when merchant arrives. So that is when merchant arrives on all of them, and I'll just make sure that we've got it over here as well. Yes, we do. It's starting to look a bit better. That is starting to improve a little bit. we got loads of traders turning up now on a regular basis. Um, the only issue that we got still is we don't have the logs. I need the logs being brought in. I need lots and lots of logs being brought in. i got woodcutters galore, but I don't have logs coming in. Um... I mean, the woodcutters are probably dealing with this stuff far faster than we need them to at the moment. We don't, it's probably not that much of a concern. We're getting, like, little bits of logs being produced in different places. Um, we, we'll, we'll keep an eye. 70 children, 71 children now. How many are we doing? We've got 20 students in that school, 20 students in that school. And then up here, we got 14 there, and we've got another school over there with 18 students. we got maximum of 80 students that we can allow for. Um, people aren't going through school fast enough. They're dying. They're dying at a rapid rate at the moment, and this is not very good. I need them to get through school, and I need them to start working. We're down to 245. We're losing people rapidly. We're still on three laborers, though. So we can go down to 242, and we'll still be okay. Right. Yeah, builders, six of zero. Why is it saying... Oh, it's because it's, um, that's the number of jobs that are available. Two, four, seven. They're starting to climb up a little bit. We do. We still got all of those children around. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to start bringing in some logs. The problem is we kind of need to kickstart the logs a little bit. So what I'm going to do in order to do that, in order to make sure that I've got like a whole load of extra logs for a little bit... I'm going to do that. I'm going to go and ask them to harvest a huge quantity of trees. Just like that. They will start going through and chopping them all down. They're going to chop down a huge chunk of trees. And once they've done that, they will then come back um, and... Um, yeah, the trees will grow back. They do grow back fairly rapidly. I mean, if you look over here, uh, we cleared all of these trees. They will start to grow back again. This is We are now at maximum... Students, we got no more room for students. They're all completely full, which means that we're going to get some uneducated workforce. I'm actually willing for that to happen. The rate at which people are dying at the moment is pretty grim. Um, the graveyards are filling up. The graveyards are filling up at an astonishing rate. We got one student spare at the moment, and I had more graveyards over here. These are both full as well. So we're going to make a bigger graveyard just to keep our people happy. And I think that area right there is the ideal spot for a graveyard. It's actually, no, that's right in the middle of the commercial area. I don't really want to waste that spot. So if I... I don't know what I'll do. I'll take that one, and I will build a stone road across there like that. And then I will go into that area there. It's the cemetery that I'm after. And I'll go as close to that side as I can. Actually, no, I don't want to go as close to that side as I can. Um... I need to sort of, I need to have a big enough area. So that one, it's going to be there like that, I think. That's as big as it can get there. 16 by 5. Cemetery is too small at 16 by 5. Okay, so we want to bring it to that point there. That's the, the biggest point that it can go to. So I can go there like that. A 14 by 7 cemetery can just slot in there. We're down to 241 people. I could really do, actually, with some nomads. I don't know if I've missed nomads coming up, uh, but there's no nomads requesting entry at the moment. Um, 
I'm wondering if perhaps having just the um, the logs there is what is causing us a little bit of a problem. Maybe I've got too many people invested in this. We've only got 23,000 stored food. I mean, we've got all of this here. We've got loads of students. We've got loads of kids coming through. But the adult population is not being replaced fast enough at the moment. We're on 241 people. Which leaves me with two laborers. Just two. That's it. I've only got two laborers. Now, we've we cleared all of that timber there. And that should have allowed for some more stuff to come in. But I think that they're sort of... They're trading on... Yeah, we, we they're still cutting some of this down. They're trading on... Just kind of swapping the timber for the logs. The, the, the sawn firewood is being swapped for the logs. I mean, if I look in here... Inventory... I got, I've got 3,000 corn in there. i got a load of food. Okay, so food is doing okay. Let's look at the next one. Look at you up there, and what did you bring in? So if I go to the inventory here, I can see... Uh, they got they brought in a little bit of food as well. So we're, we're getting a lot of food coming. We are getting food coming in. This is good. We don't have any logs there. Let's take a look at some of the others here. What have we got? Have we got logs? That's what I want to look for. There's no logs there. And if I look at the inventory, i got none on there. What about you? Did you bring any logs? Did you bring anything useful? We got some firewood there, but we don't have any logs. Oh, they got seeds. We don't want seeds. We don't care about seeds. 32,000 food. Food is going up. Students are still... They've absolutely maxed out, so I do need to build another school. I think we'll build a school down over here so that we can maintain... If we put the school up there, that might be the best place for it. I could, actually, I'd like to put a bridge across here as well. So we'll do that next. If I go there to... Actually, I want to go to the bridge. And I want to put it straight across to... No, I can't put it there. I can put it across there like that. Has that actually gone in? Yes, I think it has. Yes. And build a stone road there. And then the stone road can come out of that one and go into there like that. And then I can also build a schoolhouse which is uh, that one there is the schoolhouse. And if I rotate that route, well, I can't quite fit it in there. I was hoping to be able to just sort of slot it into that one little bit there. That's okay. We can put the schoolhouse there. And that will help service some of these people over this side. Uh, it is it's a step in the right direction. We're also going to be wanting to get a whole load of other bits and pieces as well. So I've got the schoolhouse there. I will just now increase the number of teachers that we've got. I'll just do that immediately so that we don't forget about it. We're up to 246 people. Really what we're waiting on is nomads. That's gonna, that, the nomads are what is going to make the difference for this. Now I started building some more houses out this way. So I need to go back and carry that on. We're going to keep building the houses. We're going to keep going with this. We're going to keep pushing recklessly forward and hope that everything else will catch up with the massive expansion that we've got. I need to get rid of that one. Uh, get rid of you like that. There. People keep dying, though. We get it's stone cutters. It's the biggest problem. The stone cutters keep dying. That schoolhouse is nearly done. I've got 248 people. I've got 80 children still. Uh, that's changed. Really, 251 people now. So some there's there's going to be the odd person who has slipped through the net now that doesn't have an education. Um, generally speaking, most of them will be okay. Right. I can go out as far as there. I can build a few more houses. A second. So let's build. Uh, one, two, I think three is the limit. Yes, three is the limit. So then we go round and we do that. So you can see I'm doing it at a very precise pattern around the marketplace. And then I've got a plan. I have a further plan for making this um, work even better in a minute. Uh, that'll actually be next episode before we get to that bit. So let's just go onto here and onto the roads that will come out of that point. And then that road will wrap around like that. So we got the next lot done. 252 people means that our workforce should now start. We've got some more laborers. I've got six builders, though. Six builders should be plenty for everything that we need. Um, vendors are on 17. So one of these vendors has got two. I've got six of 12 on there. And that one has got six of 12. And then there's one over here who's got five of 12. So I actually want to increase the number of vendors up to 18 so that they balance 6 of 12 all the way through. Um, yeah, like that. That's, that's how I want to do it. I want to balance it like that between the two. Um, 
And then if I look down this way, how's the graveyard doing? We've got four of 30 in there. That one's almost full. That one's almost full. The graveyards are staying full at the moment, so I can't, we are going to need to be looking at another graveyard. Uh, another stone cutter crushed by a rock. Let's see what we got here in the way of purchases. So we got the firewood, but we don't have any uh, trades. Nope, we don't have any trades on you. Um, no, nothing on that one. Let's take a look around and see if we've got any inventory items. See, that? yeah, it's, it's the logs. I've kind of, I think I've overstretched a little bit with the logs because the woodcutters don't have enough timber coming in. And the foresters are not able to keep up with the timber that's coming in, which is causing us a little bit of a problem. So we're going to need to do something about that. I think what I'll do, I'm going to build a woodcutter in here a minute. Um, that's at least going to help a little bit. We'll um, stick a forester's lodge right there, like that. And then if I get some road... Uh, where is the road? I'm going to go like that. Like that. I can bring that road over to here. And then I can build a bridge across the river. We want to go here. Nope. I still want to go that one. I'm actually just going to go... Actually, you know, should we go with a stone bridge? We can do a stone bridge across here, can't we? Yeah, like that. There. And then we can build stone road out onto that stone road there. So that's all stone road all the way through. So if I've got another forester being built, I actually want to increase the number of foresters that I've got by three. One, two, and three. So they'll start um, planting and chopping and stuff over there. Uh, what I'm going to do in order for them to be able to keep planting and chopping. Now, uh, the house is over here, so they'll go out. But I want a stock market, uh, a stockpile place here for them to put logs on. So they're not going to have to go very far. They can put the stockpile right there. And they'll be able to produce some logs for us. We're not going to worry about them over here. I've got those houses being thrown up very quickly. And it's time to connect this side. They, they do go a lot slower when they're going across the land. Whereas if you put a straight... If you put the road in, they do go quite a bit faster. So we can, we can join those in. No logs at all over here at this point at the moment. They are got a serious shortage. We've got logs there. So we got logs coming in, but not very many. And then the firewood is obviously being taken up by these guys in order to do the trading. Uh, I got 579 in there. So it, it is sort of flowing through, but we don't have enough wheat to produce a surplus of logs. Producing that surplus of logs is our big challenge at the moment in order to be able to get this to work properly. And so, yeah, we, we kind of got to work on making that work. Now, we've got one Forester's Lodge over there. I'm going to build another Forester's Lodge right there so we can get yet another one going. And that's going to be more logs that are being produced for us, which is excellent. So if I do that, I can build a road in there. But this is going to be a challenge. I, I really don't know if this is actually going to end up paying off or not. I'm really hoping it does. It would be absolutely fantastic if it does pay off. But at the same time, yeah, it might not. This this might ultimately be the complete demise of our village. Now, our village, we've worked hard to maintain our village here. So I'm going to actually reduce those down. And I'm going to reduce that down. So that I got three in every single one of them. That's what I'd like. I'd like three foresters in each of the foresters lodges. I can build a forester's lodge out here somewhere. I got, a, But I got loads of stuff in the way. All the iron and the stone out here. It's going to cause me some problems. I don't have enough sort of spare space at the moment. I suppose I could. They, they'll, they'll go from these houses here. That is a fair trek, though. That's a long way for them to go in order to get to their forester's lodge. So maybe we'll leave that bit over there for a minute. We'll come down here. Now, I've got a forester's lodge going up there. Uh, we're kind of out to the edge of the map over here, though. So we, we can't go very much further. I could build one down here somewhere. I'm sure I can fit one in somewhere. It's going to be... It's, it's got to be in close enough that it's going to be beneficial. If I stick it there, I think, that might work. We'll drop one down right there. And then he's got the bridge, so we can go either side of the river. And then we can take a road and... Put that out like that there. So we've got a bit of a road in front of it. And I'll put the road there as well to the other side of the bridge. And then... Put a road from there straight up to that point. And I'm also wondering if I should put a road up there. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll do that. I've got the Forester's Lodge going there. So I think I will put a stockpile over this side. 
Uh, right about there, maybe? So he's got somewhere to put the logs. He will put the logs here where the stockpile is, and then it's someone else's responsibility to come along and gather that stuff and take it away. We don't actually need to worry about it. That stockpile is all completed. Everything was leveled off. There we go. 263 people now. That's brilliant. Now, the population is now bouncing upwards. This is excellent. And of course, we I mean, we do still have this whole issue with the timber. But that is now going to... That could, should, should, in theory, start sort of accumulating as well. Uh, I'm just trying to think. What is the best way to go about doing this so that I sort of keep everything reasonably well balanced? Um, coal is getting a bit limited there. I got loads of iron. Iron is not a problem for me. I'm just wondering what is the best... Maybe I could stick a forester or two down here and just worry about building houses up there. I don't really want to, though. I want to um, do the final section of this and bring it out down here. I need to get some more quarries going on there, though, first. Ooh, nomads. This will make a difference. This will help. 37 people. Yes! Excellent. 37 new citizens have just moved in. That means now we've got 43 labourers. Uh, four people currently don't have homes. That's not a problem. That's not going to be a problem at all. Now we are talking. This is more like it. I'm going to just bring that one. Just wondering where the best place to put this one is. If I go there maybe. We'll drop one in there. And we'll drop another one back here as far as we can. Have to go up there like that and I can build another one right in tight to there See, I wonder if I can bring it round might be better if I bring it round this way and I go like nope it's got to go over one more there we go we're going to drop that one in there and those can be built up and then destroyed very very quickly we've got the forester's lodge working over here I want to reduce that down by one and that's going to start bringing in some logs now I don't know why I've got um firewood over there there's no actual logical explanation as to why we got firewood over that side i suppose it doesn't really matter but we got logs there's more logs coming in which is going to help those over that side and then we've also got another forester's lodge should be built yes there it is that one is built i can reduce that down a little bit now we've got all these extra people there's another thing i can do i can do a spam across there and remove all the iron and i can also do that as well and remove all of the stone so that they've got more space for growing trees. They can be able to they'll grow a lot more trees if you remove all of the stone and everything first. I've already done that there. I want to do it over here with that other new one that we've built. All the way over this side over here. I've got one there. And remove all of that stone. And then I'm gonna go over it again and make sure there's no iron. There isn't. We go up here and we'll remove all of the iron. There's not very much there to worry about. There is a bit of stone under this one get rid of that right so that one is working three of three this one down here is working oh let's just drop that down so that's three of three as well um 22 how many foresters lodges have i got i don't actually know how many foresters lodges that i've got i don't know if there's even a way to find that i think there is a way isn't there let me look in here um i've got increased priority Shows limits placed on resource production. Assign jobs to citizens. So if I look here and I look at the, not the woodcutters, but the foresters, 22 of 25. So there's 25 potential jobs. So I think I do actually need to increase this a little bit. I think I got three of them that are not currently. So let's just push that up just in case. So it's 25 of 25. Hunters can go up by two. As they reduce down a bit. The farmer needs to go up again. Herdsman is fine. Gatherer is fine. The rest of them are all okay. Uh, yes. All oh, stone cutters will increase up by two. So they've got ten in each. They got We've got four active stone cutters that we use. That one there can be destroyed. And so can that one now that they're both finished. And then as soon as this one here has been built. We can also destroy that one. That's at 77% complete. As soon as that is 100% complete, we will destroy it. And that is all we're going to have time for today. So, we have taken a massive gamble on this. Whether or not this is going to pay off, I don't know. We've got no food. We're down to 4,000 food. So, we got 300 people and we have no food. I really don't think this is actually going to work. 
There is one way that I can make this work. There is just one thing I can do. I can go into the purchase things and I can um, delete that. Delete all of the logs. Just very quickly go through and delete logs. Don't purchase logs, only purchase food. But I don't think that I've got enough coming in to be able to do this. I think that this is the end, the beginning of the end for us. I've run out of food. It went too quickly. I mean, look at that. We got 1,300 food there. Uh, logs are out on that one. Logs here on this one. We got five. Yeah, see, I can't have anybody bringing in logs or food for that matter. 900 food is dropping rapidly. I'm going to keep some logs in there, but we'll get rid of the rest. It's going to have to go. Okay, we'll keep the three with the logs. And the rest is going to go like that. That one there can be destroyed. This is genuinely the beginning of the end. Um, we got 600 food. We, we got no stored food. You look in here. They've used it all up. It's all in the houses, which means that people are going to start getting hungry. I've expanded too rapidly. I've done this too quickly. I made a horrible, horrible mistake with this, I think. And it is all going to go horribly, horribly wrong. People are going to starve to death. We've got some foods coming in. We've got a little bit of food coming in, but we don't have a huge amount of food coming in, which is definitely causing us some problems. Uh, like here, I've got logs there. I've got 310 logs, so they're going to process those through. And if I look over here onto the trade... Yeah, oh, we've got some corn there has been traded. So they are doing the trading. The trading is working. And the food is still ticking over just. Are we actually going to be able to do this? I mean, look at this now. We're in late spring. We've got 1,500 food. This is kind of the lean time. We've got the animals. Right. Why is that? What's going on there? Citizen. Has he got... What's? Oh, no. The mine has run out. I see. The mine has gone... Um, the mine has dried... No, it hasn't. The mine hasn't dried up at all. Why, is, why have I got someone without a job? Oh, that no tools. Oh, dear. Okay, that's even more serious. So the citizens are running out of tools. That is, like, really super serious. It's because we got no logs. No logs for the blacksmiths means that they're not able to produce anything. <laughs> oh, no. This is, this is going very, very wrong for us. Very wrong. We got 18 people without tools, which means that they can't harvest anything. They can't do their work. Um, yeah, it's, it is the beginning of the end. So, in our next episode, we are going to possibly destroy a huge area of the city so that we can try to bring this back a little bit and just kind of bring it back from the brink of absolute collapse, starvation, and destruction. We've already got people going hungry. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.